Hi everyone, it's Kevin. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna paint a miniature. This one is the Locatu from Kyoshuneko Miniature. I'm on my mini factory. You can get it on his Patreon as well for cheaper. And that's a pretty cool mini, a bit futuristic with a monobike. So that's cool. Let's paint. So here that's what you get in the pack. You have the model. It's pre-supported already. So you have the character and the bike. Uh, those ones are pre-supported. The base you can put flat on the bed if you want. I'm just going to put a couple of support and print incline on the side. And here you just have to launch the slicer and print. Okay, I have my three part printed and primed. I've done a little bit of cleanup as well. Nothing really major. It, it was a lot of really tiny support for a small figure like this. So that's the good part about small model. The cleanup is easier because you have like less support and they're really tiny. And yeah, it's going to be fun to paint. I'm not sure about the color yet, but let's go. Okay, so let's start with some of the base coat. For the pants here, I'm taking a light gray, a bit bluish. I'm gonna try to have some fun with the color at the start here. So what I wanted is like to have this bluish kind of teal uh, to go in all the shadows. So um, I'm just wet blending roughly. Uh, I'm not going super clean right now. I'm just trying to apply my color and see what's gonna happen. And that's kind of good that I've done this instead of going like super smooth and take my time on each part. I think it's better to go with the overall the base coat and the, the effect you want to achieve and here as you can see I have my teal kind of even a bit like greenish color going in all the shadows I'm trying to clean around now and what I wanted after I'm like okay now let's use pink for the highlight and have a difference between my shadow and my highlight and see how it's gonna go so I'm doing some kind of a bit of edge highlight here and I was not really happy, like, I was like, okay, the, the pink is really weird. Let's change completely the idea and use, uh, like, a glowing green for the highlight again. And I've done all over the jacket, same effect. It was really weird again. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to cover again. This time, I've changed the shadow with purple instead of teal. And I'm going with the pink again. So I thought, okay, it was going to be okay. The, the colors are closer together, but again, the effect was really weird. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do it again. So I recover with a bit of oranges. I've refined the purple, but this time I'm like, okay, the highlight, I'm not going to go with a crazy color. I'm just going to go brighter and warmer, like the normal tone you would get uh, if the orange were a bit warmer. So, and already it's a bit better. It's a bit more pleasant on the eyes. So that's what I've decided to go. I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep the purple for every shadow. Here, that's what I'm going back on the pants. So all the harsh shadows, I'm going to be purple everywhere. But I'm just going to keep more like a, a normal bright color, a bit warm for the, for the highlight. And even here on the pants, it's not crazy. The contrast is a bit less than the jacket. I'm just doing some edge highlighting over now. doing the eyes and that's what I've done I've changed the color of the the hair as well I've decided to use some blue and keep the purple only for the shadows on the hair same part for the gun I'm edge highlighting over here so it's mostly purpley shadow on the gun for example and then just some edge highlight on top I had to redo the bike because on the side I was doing the bike again as well. So I've repainted a bit of yellow. Yellow is kind of the same as orange a bit. So I had the same effect, a weird color. I've redone purple for the shadow and I'm head highlighting with just a brighter color here. And the effect is fine as well, I think, again. It doesn't look weird. Having only the purple is enough to have some interest and have fun after. Yeah, I'm just doing a quick lane like I'm on the, the highway or something and finishing some touches on the bike. And 
that's it for Luca the monobike. This one was pretty fun to paint. I struggled a little bit at the start and even throughout the, the model because when you have a bad start, I guess it's harder to continue on a, on a good line. But if you struggle a bit with the color, like I did, for example, it's fine to just take your time and be like, okay, let's tone down what I wanted and let's try to change the course of the, the painting and see what happens. So in the end, I've changed a bit the color that I was going for trying to make it a bit more pleasant on the eyes and it's still a good result so pretty happy with it if you enjoyed the video leave me a like and subscribe see you next time